that she's filed for a restraining order against the father of her daughter. Her, uh, I think they've been together like two years or whatever, and uh, there's uh, definitely some uh, supposed, I didn't see the videos, but from what I understand, there were some videos uh, released uh, that verified that she was being abused throughout the relationship. And so I was asked to talk on that, so I am. But uh, before I do, I want to remind you, we are in the middle of a fundraiser. We are in the middle of a research project into mental health and total access for mental health for young black adults who it can be very strenuous and straining trying to get them help when they are dealing with severe forms of psychosis. And I am putting together a position paper to present to policymakers, lawmakers, uh, to try to create more avenues for us to be able to get the help for our loved ones before they harm themselves or someone else, which is pretty much a standard now. Before that can be any type of an involuntary uh, intervention uh, for an adult that's going through a crisis, they have to be a threat to themselves or someone else. And normally that means they have to have to already tried to harm themselves or harm themselves and or harm others. And that's too late. Now they're in the system. Now they're being treated like a criminal and I'm working on that. So again, that's going to be an 18 month project and we're on our way. So many other things that I've done over the course of the last 30 years. If you believe in that work, show your love and show support. Okay, let's talk about this Kiki Palmer thing. First thing that I'm going to say right out of the box, I need to get this out. And I stand on it. I've been on this square from day one. I will be on this square. It's absolutely unacceptable for a man to in any way harm a woman, put his hands on a woman. If she broke your heart, keep it moving. If she did stole from you, keep it moving. I mean, the one thing that we've got to establish in the black community, if we're ever going to even be respected as a people, is that our women are off limits. And our women are not off limits just to other people outside, but they're off limits to our men. And the other thing that I want to state is I hate that we have to see a notable name come up and say something before this becomes a conversation. Anybody that's followed me has seen me consistently talk about the dangers, the thrusts, and the devastation of intimate partner violence and intimate partner homicide. A big part of what I do with African-American adolescent and young adult uh, male violence is dealing with the damage that's done to our female counterparts, but also to ourselves. But uh, let, I wanna be very clear that number one, it's absolutely unacceptable. I don't want to hear any excuses because one of the things that you see when you start to see, okay, he was abusive to her is these justifications for him being violent towards her. Let me, let me be very clear. One of the things we do when we are uh, socializing young black males in the black male, uh, in the black men lead rite of passage initiative is to teach them that at a certain stage, uh, a girl their age, they're going to be pretty much equal in prepubescent in, in, in their prepubescent state. As they begin to go through puberty, he's going to start to develop and generate and create more testosterone. He's going to become bigger, stronger, faster, and he's going to develop a deeper voice and a bunch of other things that will come along with it. And uh, I'm gonna give you the short version. The short version is all of this stuff that you're getting now that makes you physically more dominant than she is. None of it is meant for you to dominate or physically harm her. It's for the opposite. It's meant for you to be not only capable, but willing to sit up and defend her physically. In other words, your number one responsibility as a man is to protect those who are weaker than you. 
that's a part of your thrust, starting with women, children, and elderly. And then if there are other men who are not as strong, not as capable, defend them. We have got to stop turning our violence in on ourselves. And the worst thing you can do, in my respect, and the way I was read as a young man, by men who grew up when men were men, when, when men weren't blaming women for everything that's going on. Now, ladies, hear me closely. Because I'm getting on my brothers don't mean that y'all not out there doing some real crazy stuff. And that this does not excuse you from the things that you're doing. It simply means that there's absolutely no reason and no justification for it. Now, if she's got a gun, that, that that's a whole nother thing. I'm talking about you going up and being violent towards a woman hand to hand or with a gun. I mean, it's a, the second leading cause of death for black females age 50, ages 15 to 44 is intimate partner homicide. And guess what 90 plus percent of those intimate partners race is. So that's a problem. But this whole Kiki Palmer thing, the thing that stands out to me and a lot of people are going to get upset about this to me is outside of the fact that this is what happens. If you don't have a man who is mature, if you don't have a man who is confident in who he is, the moment that she does something, it's going to attack his insecurities. And again, I'm not one of those people that think the stuff she did on stage with Usher was copacetic. That would be unacceptable for my woman. You know, your all-time crush is on the stage. You get up there and dance with him. You don't grind on him. That's an immediate disrespect of me. And my whole thing is that should be understood. If it's not understood, I'm not making a big issue about it. I'm not getting on putting anything. There are certain things that are just simply uh, non-negotiable for me. Things that I'm going to actually get up and sit up and say, you know what? Fuck it. I'm done. And I'm going to be okay with doing that. I'm going to be okay with letting a woman who says she does not want to be with me anymore make it. See you later. Wish you the best. I'm not going to sit up and get upset because I feel like, well, you done broke my heart and you done did this. I'm not going to sit up and let a woman who cheats sit up and pull me in a situation where now I'm in prison. Some dude's dead or she's dead and everything else. And nothing comes out of it. I, look, you got to have, you got to have enough awareness about yourself that nothing no one else does defines you. Because, but when you have a young brother, and I'm talking about brothers, this isn't just black men, but I'm talking about brothers because this is what we're dealing with. When you have um, a young man, a young brother who isn't sure of who he is, and his woman is his sense of being, his sense of confidence is because I got this person. You got to think, here's a guy whose profession was personal fitness instructor. He was a personal trainer and he ends up starting, starting a relationship with her. So in him, in his mind, he's married up. And while a lot of people are going to get on me because there's this argument about who's the prize, just stupid ass shit that keeps us divided. But the thing is, I am never going to be in a situation where I feel I'm marrying up. And I'm never going to actually marry down. What does that mean? That means that I don't care what she does, what she has, what her, what her status is. I'm worthy. I'm that person. I, I'm, I'm, I know who I am. And you can't show me a woman on this planet that I think that if I wanted to be with them, that I was worthy. Now, they may not want to be with me, but it still doesn't define me. And what will probably happen is based on that, I probably will say, okay, the type of person I need, that, that person isn't that. But I'm never going to be in a situation where I'm looking at someone and going like, wow, look what I got. And because now everything that I am is hidden in this one little space of look what I got. The moment she takes that away from me, I'm crushed. And if I'm crushed enough, the natural primal instinct is to exhibit strength in the only way I know how, violence. That's natural. It's not meant 
to be used against the people we use it against. But when we feel disrespected, when we feel small, when we feel like we have had our power ripped away from us, we will exhibit it. That's why these kids are running around shooting up our cities. This is what's happening. With wild, because that's the only way that they can exhibit something that every freaking man on this planet, planet regardless, of race, regardless of race, wants to do is exhibit power. And the most powerless person on this planet, especially in the West, is the black man. So when he sits up and gets his identity and his sense of swag and confidence and everything because of who he's dating, because of who he's sleeping with, because of who his child's mother is, and that's taken away, and he doesn't have any sense of identity or who he is, somebody is liable to get hurt. My thing is, again, this is why something like Black Man Lead, Rite of Passage, proper socialization is so important. I, I, I'm not defined by anything outside of who I am and in myself and how I see myself. I surround myself with people who can see the things in me that make me unique, that make me special, that make me powerful. So they can fan my flames and so that they can pour into me and that I can pour into them and that we can build and grow ourselves together. That's the beauty of that thing. But let me tell you something. Let's be very clear here. I'm frustrated because it takes something like this with Kiki Palmer, a, a notable name, a celebrity, before we're having this conversation. And this is happening each and every day in our communities. It's creating a bigger and bigger and bigger and wider gulf between black men and black women to the point that we are so far apart that the black family is all but destroyed. And I talked about the disintegration of the black family on yesterday. So again, no, it's not acceptable. Uh, yes, but here's the other thing, and this is probably where the ladies are going to get mad at me, but it's real. It seems that she knew he was violent and he had been abusive towards her before she ever had a baby with him. Ladies, saying you know your value, saying you know your worth means absolutely jack. Your worth is determined by what you are willing to accept. When you know your worth, there's a standard, there's a barrier, there are perimeters, there are boundaries that are around you that will not be violated. If you violate it, you're out. And you have to care enough about yourself that the moment someone starts to mishandle you and mistreat you, not just the dude, anybody starts to mishandle and mistreat you, they need to be out because then you find yourself in a situation. Now you've procreated with this man. You created offspring and you're filing for sole custody. But the truth of the matter is he has just as much a right to be a parent as you do unless he proves to be told. And now my whole thing is I don't want, you know, I wouldn't want any kid I love to be around a dude that's being violent towards a woman because it's teaching them the absolute opposite of what they should expect, whether they're male or female. But again, that goes to that so we've got a lot of work to do and i hope that we're getting it but i'm gonna go on that's gonna be a part of this whole family thing when i talk when i do this series next week on the family so with that being said look i'm gonna get ready to get off of here but i i, I cheryl i i touched on it i hope that this um answers the questions that you may have had if not put the questions in the comment fields and i'll come back and i'll answer those but that's my take on it love it like it indifferent to it whatever that's my square i'm standing on it again if you believe in the work we're doing at the odyssey project show some love show some support donate uh the way that you can donate to the organization is going to be listed in the description box on that note i'm out of here you guys have an unbelievable remainder of your day